What's going on, everybody? Welcome to another episode. This is episode 25, 26. I can't even tell you guys the truth. I really don't know, but welcome to another episode of The Slam. I'm your host, Tango with Ango. You guys can follow me on Twitter at Tango with Ango. And today is actually going to be pretty interesting. Um, now, first, I do want to explain to you guys that we do have a new format to the show. Um, so if you guys haven't noticed, there is a little bit of a different format. You guys will get at least a minimum of two slam episodes a day. So with those two episodes of the slam, you'll probably get one at around 6 p.m. Eastern as well as midnight Eastern time. So um, not a bad idea. We're looking at pumping out. Um, it really depends, guys, like on the content and news and stuff like that. But we're looking at bringing you guys news on a daily basis. And a lot of opinions and discussions and things like that. So um, you guys will see different special guests. I think you guys know that. Um, but right now, today's news is really, really interesting. And the reason why I'm so glad to be bringing you guys this news is because I've kind of talked about something like this before on previous episodes of The Slam. So this is kind of like a follow-up video. I want to say it was episode six or seven. I might be totally wrong. But if that's the case, that's the case. Um, so... Realistically, guys, wrestling is at a very pivotal point, um, especially when you look at women's wrestling. And I don't think it's necessarily a secret uh, that the Women's Royal Rumble was going to be announced at some point. You know, um, I think it's been kind of discussed for a while. I think there's been a lot of reports, a lot of rumors, things of that nature. And, um, you know, I think. I think today's news doesn't really come as a shocker. Um, if you guys don't like spoilers or things like that, this may not be the video for you. But, um, you know, the, the big idea here is WWE has to make a very big moment occur at the Women's Royal Rumble match. And with that being said, a lot of reports have come out about Ronda Rousey signing with the WWE and potentially winning the Women's Royal Rumble Basically because of the fact that she has really big star power to her name. And WWE is kind of in a situation right now where they have the ability to create more hype around somebody who's kind of lost that hype. Um, what I mean in this situation, if you guys know Ronda Rousey's UFC career, it kind of went downhill towards the end. Well, it didn't kind of go downhill. It absolutely went downhill. And the thing about this is there's always been reports about Ronda Rousey coming to WWE. And of course, they've kind of teased it before. But here is where WWE is smarter than everybody else. WWE is obviously not going to admit that Ronda Rousey has signed with the WWE. They're not going to admit that she's going to be in the Royal Rumble. They're not going to admit that she's going to be at WrestleMania until they start building that Ronda Rousey match. In this situation, I think it makes 1,000% sense in the argument that having Ronda Rousey come to the WWE should be a surprise moment, especially when it's going to actually build towards a storyline. Um, and that's where today's news could be a little bit tricky because reports are coming out. And again, it's probably no secret at this point, but reports have come out that Ronda Rousey may be the favorite to win the Royal Rumble match uh, in January. So... The first ever women's Royal Rumble match being won by an outside superstar, right? A celebrity. Normally, most people would actually hate this because it doesn't do anything to build the women up from WWE. Normally, I would agree with that. Uh, with celebrities being induced into matches and things like that, I, I just sometimes don't agree with it. But Ronda Rousey, there's been such a big mystique with, with Rousey coming to WWE that I almost feel like WWE here is creating hype by denying everything. And that's where things go really well in this situation. Um, when you think about it long term, WWE having Rousey win the Royal Rumble to winning the women's championship belt at WrestleMania would actually be really cool. And here's why. Because if you build Rousey as the biggest women superstar woman you know female superstar in wwe and you have an up-and-comer take that belt from rousey it gonna it's gonna make a lot of a sense it's gonna make a lot of sense i can't even talk right now that's how crazy this is because nobody would have ever thought a couple of years ago that rousey would actually compete in the wwe 
Now, here's the thing that people are kind of missing. I don't think Rousey's going to win the Royal Rumble, win the belt at Mania, and then just leave. I think Rousey's here for the long haul. So in this situation, that's why it makes sense. It makes sense to put Rousey. She doesn't have to be on every episode of Raw. I think sometimes when you see the same person every single week, you get sick of that person. So I do see it being a good way of building Rousey up. And I think, you know, people don't want to get sick and tired of Rousey. People want to cheer her on. People want to actually see what's going to happen and develop with the story. So I feel like in this situation, most importantly, you got to protect Rousey. And the best way to do that at Royal Rumble is by having her come out at number 30. Um, I think you'll guys, I think you guys will see some celebrities uh, in attendance. I think you guys will, I think you guys will see Royal Rumble being a very star-studded event. But I think what really captures everybody's attention will be when Rousey wins. And I think this is perfect. I think this is a great idea. And the best part about it is, I know a lot of people are saying, "Hey, Alexa Bliss is the women's champion on Raw. Get rid of it. Get rid of it. Have her lose to Asuka." You know, set up the match at Royal Rumble. Asuka beats, uh, Asuka beats Alexa Bliss. Now, if you guys don't like the idea of Rousey winning the belt from Asuka, I could understand why. I I really could understand why. Um, and I don't disagree with those people. I'm sure there's going to be some really good opinions out there. But if you do have Rousey beat Asuka. The amount of hype and importance that they're building with the idea of Ronda Rousey eventually coming to WWE, I think it trumps the idea that she wouldn't be able to, you know, end a streak, if that makes sense. Um, so I'm really curious to see what's going to happen here. You know, this is this is something really different in WWE's playbook. Um, again, I'm not really into the idea of celebrities coming in or athletes from other organizations but I think when you look at Rousey and what she could do I think it makes sense so with Rousey entering and debuting debuting at the uh, Royal Rumble pay-per-view seeing her being the 30th entrant um, I think it makes a lot of sense guys I think WWE can really strike gold especially when you look at this women's revolution that they keep talking about which by the way I'm just going to make note of it the women's revolution it is, it's being used a lot lately because there's so many, you know, hey, this is a, a historical moment, which I understand. Um, that's obviously the importance. But I, I don't think anybody questions women's wrestling anymore. Um, even if you look at WWE, Impact, uh, ROH, Women of Wrestling, um, if you look at some of the companies in the UK, I don't think anybody can question the equality um, issue, right? Like, I don't think anybody sees a difference between both genders. So I think with WWE, they need to stop talking about women's revolution and just treat it like it's the same exact thing. And honestly, I don't know what WWE is planning for the universal or the SmackDown WWE championship belt. I don't know what they're planning with, you know, Undertaker, John Cena, but if there's ever going to be a time in WWE history, WrestleMania 34, Ronda Rousey versus Asuka may very well be main event, main event worthy. I think at that point, um, I think it makes a lot of sense. And I don't know. I don't know. I don't know who would win that match. You know, like I said, I'm okay with the idea of Rousey winning the match because of the hype, because of the importance of signing her. But then it's really hard to say... You know, Asuka's whole career with WWE goes downhill just because a UFC performer athlete uh, had come in and ended her win streak. You know, it's just one of those things. Like, I get both arguments. So, um, I want to know what you guys think in the comment section down below with the slam. You guys could use the hashtag the slam. Tweet me on Twitter at Tango with Tango. Put a comment down below. And again, we're going to have videos every single day. We're going to we're going to do our best. I'm going to try my very well uh, best to make sure you guys are getting your content on a daily basis. Um, it's like negative five degrees in Michigan, so that's why you guys will probably see me wear hoodies forever. Um, but yeah, I mean the slam is is here. It's I want to get your guys' feedback, especially on Rousey winning the Royal Rumble. Um, really, really crazy. I think it makes a lot of sense though. So 
Um, let me know what you guys think on this topic. Join the discussion down below in the comments section. And then again, Twitter at Tango with Tango. Use the hashtag the slam. If you guys have any questions or anything like that, you guys know where to find the show. So uh, as always, I'm your host, Tango with Tango, and I will see you guys on tomorrow's episode, 6 p.m. Eastern. Peace.